Hi everyone, welcome to Deco Graphic Studio. In today's lesson, I'll be going over some form and pattern finding techniques that I use when uh, using Grasshopper. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That way you can stay tuned for future videos that I'll be posting. So let's get started. We'll go here into sets, or into vector, sorry, and then we go to grid, and then we can go to square grid. And let's do a 120. Actually, no, let's do a 50. We'll create a grid. And we'll create it kind of small. So I that was a little bit large, putting it at 50. So we'll make it a little bit smaller at 16. And as we can see, we have, since we have, let's do an even number of 10. We'll have 100 cells and 121 points. So for uh, what we want to do is create the points. We want the points from the corners, and we also want the points on the middle. So to get the points in the middle, we do something called an area. And if you put the cells where it says area, we, we get the centroid. Centroid is the point, it's the dead in the center. And so we have these two sets of points that we can now go here and create a circle as we did before. And we can do go from centroid to plane and go here to plane or holding shift and plugging in the other one so they can both plug in. Now we have a circle that's created at each one of those corner points. And what we could do is increase the size of the circle to create different type of patterns. And so this is really cool if you're trying to just create a screen or create something that'll, um, you know, that w has an interesting pattern that you haven't figured out yet. And so this one can create perforations. It can create um, overlapping patterns. Geometry is like this and then like that. So the other one is if you unplug the midpoints, you can also you also get some some interesting patterns just by doing a straight grid. So all those options are kind of open and uh, we can go ahead and you know we can dec definitely decrease the size here to a uh, to like a 5. That way we can um, make it so it's not so heavy on the on the script. See, as you can see, even here, just trying to do you know we'll lower the extents. And we can just increase the size here. And now uh, we can also do a pipe. Plug into the curves here. And we can just um, maybe make this a th uh, 30. Increase the size of the pattern. And now we're talking, we're getting some cool, interesting patterns that we can expand. But more importantly, that we can kind of vary the size and have update accordingly. So the next step is not just to use circles, because circles are, are interesting and they look nice, but if we start creating um, 
a polygon and we use the same centroid plug it into the plane and put in the, those points plug them into there and now we can start playing with different geometries it doesn't have to necessarily be just a circle we can also do a um, I'm going to create a slider from 3 and then you do dot 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 to 10 so this is a slider from 3 to 10 that will allow you to create segments that are 3, 4 so now we can adjust that, we can do 5 6 7 we can do 8 that creates a cool those creates pretty interesting patterns and then we can go all the way up to 10 which it becomes at that point almost the same as a circle so that's a way where you can that's a way you can create some interesting forms not just with circles but also with polygons and then if you wanted to get crazy and eventually do a fillet like a four you know you can create some interesting cool perforations and you can ultimately take this one and just hide it and then you have the pattern that was created from those points so of course we can go ahead and go and pipe here or you can extrude and cap I'll unpreview that one so it's just the cap and we'll extrude in the Z direction an amount of 2 and there we have we can You can play around with it and create some interesting patterns that we could then, you know, create, make into a screen, into a, into whatever, whatever you're looking to do. So that's another way where you can create uh, some interesting patterns just using a grid, the points, the midpoints of the grid, the grid corners, polygons or circles, and then extrusions. And that should uh, give you an idea of uh, many different things that you can do with grids and with patterns.